what's up guys welcome to my channel my name is Jake and I'm a videographer and editor from Los Angeles California and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do a vertigo effect so if you guys don't know what a vertigo effect it's basically a dolly zoom that pushes in while zooming out and it basically gives it like this warp type of feeling for example one of the earliest films that I saw with the vertigo effect was actually Jaws as you can see the background warps as the camera zooms in closer on the subject but now you see a lot of these vertigo effects in travel films. So to shoot the vertigo effect is very very simple. You just want to have a subject in front of you and you just want to push in with your camera. You don't really have to have a gimbal. You can do it all handheld or you can zoom in because it's still giving that same effect of a dolly zooming in to a subject. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it exactly inside of Final Cut Pro. It's very very simple so let's hop right into it. Let's just get straight into it. We're gonna grab our clip of my boy Noah here. And I'm gonna speed up this clip a little bit. And then all I'm gonna do for the vertigo effect, guys, it's very, very simple. I'm gonna go down and click this little icon right here, this drop down arrow. I'm gonna go to crop and I'm gonna go to Ken Burn. So basically what a Ken Burn is, it's a digital zoom. So it could, it could either zoom in or zoom out. So basically since we're coming towards the subject right here or making a forward motion towards the subject we want to be doing the complete opposite on our Ken burn so as you can see right here it's gonna start on the inside and it's gonna end on the outside so that means it's gonna zoom out um, you could also flip it right here and you can start on the outside and then it's gonna zoom in so of course we want to do the complete opposite since we're walking towards the subject we want it to be zooming out start in zoom out okay so we're just gonna play with the can burn a little bit i like to start the clip with um the can burn zoomed in a little bit more than it's preset it to come in so we're gonna click done right here and then we're gonna let it render a little bit all right we're gonna play it back and as you can see the background is starting to warp a little bit and boom guys there is the vertigo effect so if you want um, to have a better kind of vertigo effect you could either speed up the clip or you could mess with the can burn a little bit more all you can do is go back to crop just zoom in a little bit more okay oh, let's start right here. it's a pretty simple effect you can add this to a lot of your clips and if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys